Here we have a FAC 770N underground electric gate opener. This is the sort of one that sits in an enclosure just below the gate. And this one failed after about a year in service and it is making a bad grinding noise inside. It will turn in one direction with very very limited power and it won't turn in the other direction at all. We've checked the capacitor and that's all right. So here I'm just going to run it briefly so you can hear the noise. So we can hear something grinding in there and we can hear the motor struggling struggling to go. If we try and run it in the other direction we just get a, a humming of the motor. Before we can split the case we need to remove this circlip. And that's just a weather seal. We can then turn the motor over. And we can see we have about 10, 10 mil bolts. So let's loosen all those off. I'm going to give the case a few knocks just to see if we can loosen that up. So now we can see how this all works. We have very substantial gears and bearings. They all seem fine on the output side. Now I've got this large worm gear which gets not reduced but brought over to here. Brought to a brass worm gear which goes on to straight to the output shaft of the motor. This is a close-up of that brass gear and we can see that there is a little bit of wear on both sides of each tooth. This concave surface is supposed to be profiled like that, so that's not an issue. Also, the grease does look a bit blacker and dirtier around this area, so there is a little bit of wear on that, but I don't think that's enough to cause the noise and lack of power that we're having. Going through all of the bearings, both bearings here seem perfect. No play and they're perfectly quiet. On this large gear and the output shaft, again everything is perfect. And on the smaller shaft, that bearing is perfect. This one here is noisy. It also looks like it's lacking in grease compared to everything else. And it's next to this brass shaft which has this brass gear which looks to be somewhat damaged. So I wonder if something was causing heat or a vibration here that has worn that. I think we might try and run the motor again with nothing attached and see how it sounds. So that still sounds rather rough with nothing attached and no load on the motor. So that would lead me to think that there's something wrong with that motor. So here's everything running on the bench now. You can still hear that loud noise coming from the motor mainly. So if anyone has any ideas, please leave a comment below. I'm guessing maybe something to do with one of the field windings or something internally in the motor. The bearings at both sides of the motor seem perfect. So let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks. Bye bye.